Okay guys, so I'm going to show you now how to be able to bring up your Android device. Your Android device, Android device is the Karma Company Liberation Server's version of a mini map. Okay, so for this to work, first of all, we need to... Um, that was random. So to be able to do this, we need to... Let me just get out of here. Let me just move over here so we're not going to be spoken to while we're trying to try and teach you this. Uh, actually, before I do that, I will need to go to the arsenal. Where the arsenal is from here, over here. It's going to be different every time you come into a fob. So fobs change continuously. So hang on, I just need to get gear very quickly. Arsenal. Loadouts. FTL, because I believe I'm in this role. Load. Close. Close. Okay, I have a weapon now. Okay, so let's just quickly move over here. Mm. Okay, guys. So, the first thing you need to do when you uh, get your loadout is to be able to bring up your Android device. So your Android device is um, basically this, okay? Which then could be minimized into the corner as a minimap so that you can see what's going on around you. There's a lot of words around at the moment because we are in FOB and um, so that's a little bit difficult to deal with. But what you'll find is that when you press the key that I'm, I'm going to talk about in a minute, you'll find that this will happen. So basically you'll, you'll kind of have this happening. Okay. And I, I want to be able to help you to stop that from happening. So what you want to do is you want to go press the escape button, go to configure controls, and then you want to go to this button here that says configure add-ons. And you want to click on it. And then here, it's massive. But this is a drop-down menu, okay? And you want to go to Ace Common. And you want to go to the bottom one, which is this one here. Okay, and this will be a H. And I want you to change it to something different. So I have... I just use backslash because it's not bound to anything for me on my keyboard. And, and it makes me have to take my fingers off uh, my movement buttons, keys, and reach over and tap it to be able to open the medical menu. Deselecting it from H will allow you to then just use H to bring up your Android device. So let's go OK. So now if you press H, it'll bring it up as a mini map in the corner. If you hold down Control H, enlargens it and this is basically your map and the reason I'm telling you this is on Karma Company Liberation Server the map okay has no markers for your team members so right now I believe we are here so we're here and the majority of the squad is located here but as you can see there are no markers to to let you know where your squad is so there's no flags no nothing okay there's no movement however if you open the Android device and you move to the same location on the map here, hang on a sec, I'm having a glitch out. There we go. Okay, if you move here, you can actually see now elements. Yeah, so this is uh, Assassin 1 2. There is nobody in my squad right now, so um, I can't really show you how not only will you see other elements, but you'll see individual members of your squad and they come up as uh, either blue but usually we take colors so I'll show you how to do that in a minute so normally you'll see multiple color little cherries on the map and that will help you know where your your squad is you can see right now that we're here and it is approximately three and a half kilometers to where the the, the front line is and to be able to get there you will need to take a helicopter and, and this is something we will discuss in the next uh, tutorial on how to be able to get out into the field. But for now, I wanted to show you how to be able to use this Android device, okay? 
Okay guys, so uh, what I've done here is I've uh, I've jumped into a squad, so uh, a position in a squad has become available, and I just quickly jumped in so you could see what it's like to be able to view your squad on the uh, on the Android device. So you can see here that we can see our squad in this building. Uh, it looks like there's been some casualties, but uh, so you can see there. So yellow again. There's no strict color coding, but the majority of the time, the yellow member in the squad with the line through their little cherry is the squad leader. So that is the squad leader. And then you have, uh, this is the members of red team. Let's we'll see if you can see if there's a blue team around. Yep, there's blue team. Okay, so blue team is here. So there you, and you can see that we're a long way away from our squad here. So there you go, guys. There's an example of what your squad looks like on the Android device. To be able to minimize it to the corner, we just have to press H. So there we go. We've pressed H, and it's now a minimap in the corner, and you can even see yourself moving around in the bottom corner there. So we can run around. And this also is a great way to just to be able to find other people in your squad. To be able to make yourself a color, as we say, um, you hold down control and then the windows key and it'll come up with this, this radial menu, which allow you to do things like this radio. It allows you to, um, extend, extend your whip if you have one and things like that. Excuse me, guys, I'm burping. It allows you to access the medical menu, but it's, it's better to use the shortcut, which is basically whatever button you decide from the, the, the key change that we made earlier. Okay, let me just bring up the radio menu. And the other one is fire teams. Fire teams allows you to change the color of yourself. So if anybody tells you to change a color, you hit control, uh, windows, key, fire teams, and then you can pick a color. So let's go red. And then what you'll see is on your um, compass, the little compass in the center bottom of your screen, you'll see that you are now colored red. Okay, guys, it's as simple as that. That's how you use your Android device to be able to basically stay in proximity of your squad and to be able to find other elements within your area. You press Control H to make it larger so you can see the uh, the general vicinity. Again, if the battle is a long way out, you know you can then be able to zoom out and then zoom in to that part of the map. Okay. Awesome guys, so uh, the next tutorial will pop up and that will be on how to get out into the field and that's something we'll go and do right now.